Give the welcome speech. Hello everyone, I'm Nilofa Fikas. Um, I'm the anchor for today's webinar. Today's topic is paranormal activities. Before we begin, let's call Joel for the welcome speech. He's not here, Nilupa. So can you just invite Dua? Okay. Um, now I call Dua to explain about paranormal activities. Ma'am, can I get the presenter? Yeah, okay, got it. You're able to see my screen, right? Yes, my dear. Before we start, I uh, like. Do you know why? Why we are hearing uh, the word paranormal or something inside this? Why we are horrifying and why is there something mysterious coming in? That's because a human is. Like the paranormal is having a hyper sense than our humans. So let's start. What is paranormal? Paranormal activities refers to events or phenomena that are beyond the scope of us scientific understanding or explanation. These can include sites of a ghost, apparition, alteration or explain or experience like telekinesis no, we can't hear you ma'am would you hear me Yes, now I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Paranormal activities are often associated with haunted locations, unexpected occurrences, or supernatural events. While many people believe in paranormal phenomena, the scientific community generally remains skeptical due to a lack of empirical evidence supporting such claims. However, Interest in paranormal activities persists in various cultures and societies, leading to continuous exploration, investigation, and debate. So, as far as science, they prove that this paranormal activities is just a thinking of our humans, and which is not true. So, let's see what does science say. Most scientists do not believe in paranormal activities because there isn't enough solid evidence to prove that they are real. Instead, they think that things like seeing ghosts or UFOs might be caused by our mind playing tricks on us or by our other natural things we don't understand yet. Scientists like to rely on facts and experiments that can be replied to understand the world around us better. While they are open to study why people believe in paranormal things, they usually don't think they're true in the way many people believe. Most of the scientists who had done the research on the topic paranormal was denying it as a spectic at the starting itself. So by this, many people are saying that this research of the scientists has been really a flop and they should start something again. One prominent scientist who has done a lot of research on paranormal phenomena is Dr. Charles Tart. He is a physiologist who has been studying things like ESP, knowing things without using your regular sense and altered states of consciousness for many years. 
His work has helped us learn more about the strange experience and how they might relate our minds and our minds. So one of the thing, the main thing that scientists say that uh, like the paranormal things are not true is because of the peripheral vision. Peripheral vision is like your side vision. It's what you can see on the edges when you're looking straight ahead. It's not as clear as what you see in the middle, but it helps you notice things happen around you without having to turn your head. So, if someone wave you from the side, you might say it with your peripheral vision. It's handy for being a part for this going on around you. So, our sense to see the color and details may drop down at any edge of a visual, visual field, but a sense to see it, like the predict motion, is increasing at every second. That's why when we are in a darker, darker place, it's said to be a haunted place. In night, that's what we are seeing, some sort of shadows or creatures in the moon. Haunted houses. Some people believe that certain houses are haunted by ghosts or spirits. They claim to experience strange noises of just moving on their own or even seeing a parachute. So, like the common folk believe that they are haunted. Like there may be much so stories. There will be surely there will be stories behind every like every haunted houses to be known. And scientists prove that these are just our minds tricking us. Orbs captured in photographs. Many people uh, claim to capture orbs which are small spherical spores of light in photographs taken in allegedly haunted locations. While some believe these orbs to be evidence of spiritual activity, skeptics argue that they are often caused by dust, moisture or refraction from camera's flash. Even now, even now our world is improved and there are many technologies and there are, and there are many fake news that these are like there are many people who is addicting such photos and making them horrifying. So nowadays there are much many people who is believing in this paranormal activities, which is not true by it's done by scientists. Now, electric voice phenomena. Electric voice phenomena is the belief that voices or spirits or other entries can be captured on audio recordings, often in places believed to be haunted. <clears throat> Paranormal investigators sometimes use specialized equipment to capture these voices, which are typically not audible to the naked ears at the time of recording. So experts of paranormal are surely having this type of, uh, this type of device to record what the ghost is wanna communicate with us. No. Psychic medium. Psychic mediums claim to have the ability to communicate with the spirits of the decays. They often conduct sins or reading in which they per perpetually relay messages from the spirit world to the living. While some people believe in the ability of psychic mediums, Others remain skeptical of attribute their apparent insight to cold reading techno technique or physiological factors. We may really heard about audio words and all. This is one type of psychic medium. So people believe that through such words and other ways, we may uh, we may be able to talk to the other world and to talk to the spirits or uh, supernatural powers which we want to talk. Near-death near experiences. Near-death experiences are reported by some individuals who have come close to death or have been uh, clinically dead for a short period before being revealed. These experiences often involve sensations of peace, seeing a bright light or feeling us through once consciousness is living the body. While NTEs 
uh, widely reported and intensely personal, their scientific explanation remains a topic of debate. So as you as we can see in the internet, every person who like who had traveled to the near death experience, who have experienced the near death, are surely telling that paranormal things are real and they do have experience in a good way, right way. So there are even one of the topic of debate may be this, and there are much many debates that scientists should have like uh, do research on this topic again for a much clearer truth answer. Now, telekinesis. Telekinesis is the idea that people can move objects with their minds alone without touching them. While it's often depicted in movies and books, there's no scientific proof that telekinesis is real. Crop circles. Crop circles are inrated patterns that appear in fields or crops or often overnight, while some think that they're made by aliens or supernatural force. Most crop circles are actually created by people as pranks or forms of art. So both of this are like something or uh, it's a belief of a common folk and which is not actually a true. So let's dive in a bit deeper. So imagine you're sitting with a group of friends and suddenly someone claimed they saw a shady figure in the corner of the room. Some might jump to the conclusion of that it's a ghost, while others might suggest it was just a trick of the light. Then, there are those who delve into the idea that our brains can sometimes play tricks on us, making us see or feel things that aren't really there. They might explore psychological explanations like how our emotions or memories can influence that we perceive. Others might take a scientific approach, looking at things like electromagnetic fields or environmental factors that could create airy sensations. It's a bit like peeling back layers of a mystery with different purposes adding to the puzzle to understanding paranormal experience. So right here, you could see that the in, a, in the group of friends, there are many friends and they have many opinions. So they all are telling that like, they're not saying it that they, it's true, that it's true. Like the paranormal thing, it's true or it's not a true thing. It's just our imagination. So it is a th uh, therapy around of this, uh, of this paranormal activity. Survivor hypothesis. This theory suggests that paranormal phenomena such as ghosts or hauntings are manifestations of the survival of consciousness after death. According to this view, when a person dies, their consciousness of, or spirit may linger into the physical world, leading to reporting in sighting or interactions or disturbances commonly associated with hauntings. So this is the main belief of our people on paranormal uh, activities such as ghosts, spirits, etc. They do believe that uh, a person after that who have uh, like much more dreams to to take upon may come back to the real world and they want to make it to other people. The end. Thanks for listening. Do anyone have any questions? Same may ask. I have. Yeah. Why are paranormal activities so important? Like, I didn't get you. Why are paranormal activities so important? I didn't tell that they are important. Like people do believe that they are in like they are true. Then some say that they are not a true thing. So 
uh, in this webinar, I just want to let you know the truth or behind this uh, like mysterious thing. Yeah. Other questions? Thank you, Dua. Finally, I'll call Aiden for the water of plants. Uh, good evening to everyone. On behalf of uh, Super Kids Batch 8, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your active participation and enthusiastic engagement in today's webinar on paranormal activities hosted by our remarkable Dua Joanne. Dua has provided us with profound insights and thought-provoking perspectives on a topic that often lies at the intersection of curiosity and mysteries. Her expertise and dedication have truly illuminated the realms of the paranormal captivating our minds and sparking lively discussions throughout the session. Once again, thank you, Dua, for, for your enlightening presentation and thank you to all our attendees for your active participation. We look forward to future opportunities to dwell deeper into such captivating topics together. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining. Bye, ma. Bye, ma.